exactly right. And he is our next guest in Studio B. What's up, Gavin? Not much. How, how are you feeling after a late game last night? Nine o'clock ended around 11. Yeah, Here we I'll are. tell you what, those late games, uh, I uh, got done with the game and then I looked at my phone and it was like 11.45. I was like, okay, wait, that's it's kind of late. I got class tomorrow. I got to get to bed. So. Yeah, you had a nine o'clock class before this. So how was class? It was good. Uh, had geography, so I learned about the world. So it was great. Very nice. <laughs> so now that you've had some time, again, not very much time because it was such a late game, what, what did last night's win mean to you guys? Um, I, it was obviously, it's, again, St. Mary's. We we uh, had a tough loss there at their place. It's a hard place to play. Um, so last night it was big for us to get that, that win against them, kind of get them back, and also give us that confidence and that momentum uh, moving into next week's game, which is going to be even bigger. So it was huge for us. Defense was the emphasis uh, in practice, it sounds like. Um, what was the game plan specifically against St. Mary's? Uh, because it seemed like it went really well. Yeah, um, I think it went, went really well, like you said. And it was just really to, to help each other out and not leave each other on an island, you know, defending our guys by ourselves. And so being able to, to help over and uh, just be in the right spot uh, and make plays that was that was huge for us so I think just right position on defense I know after the game when you were on the the radio post game show Greg was asking you about getting the second half start what did that do for you to be able to start the second half with that group um, I think it just uh, it was a confidence booster to just be able to start the second half and um, just get right in there uh, I'm used to obviously coming off the bench kind of seeing the flow of the game and how things go but um, I was just thrown right in there, and so I had to adapt to that, but it, it went well. The last three games, 25 points, 15 rebounds, 7 blocks, 11 of 14 from the field. You've had increased minutes, certainly more opportunity there, but what else has changed for you in the last three? Um, just honestly, my confidence has gone way up. Uh, the game is kind of slowing down for me. Uh, I'm able to see things better. Um, before I'd get in there, it'd just be like, everything so fast um, it's kind of a blur but now I'm able to see things better and just um, honestly just more confidence is what I need well and, and to that point maybe take it another step further wh where do you feel your game is at right now um, it's in an uh, honestly it's not where I expected it to be um, getting back from my mission I, I think I had this vision of what I wanted to be but I think it's actually um, I've adapted to the position that I'm in uh, pretty well and uh, just got to continue to uh, de develop my game um, to the outside. I'd like to start shooting more threes and hitting those. And so, But right now I think it's in a great spot, um, especially for where our team's at. Where do you, where do you envision your game? Like what, when you think of yourself in this program playing basketball for the next couple of years, what, do, what type of game do you envision for yourself? Um, just... Uh, I think just adding uh, the three-point shot to my arsenal um, and driving to the basket more, um, that's, that's one of my strengths. Uh, so I just got to try to incorporate that to my game more. Um, but just kind of um, kind of adding that three-point shot, I think it's going to be huge. Were you always like uh, a big wingspan guy? Were you always long like this? Your whole yeah, life? pretty much. I uh, just always had more more iron length than everybody else. Jeremy and I can relate. It's fine. Yeah, we, oh, have, totally. we have huge uh, guys with huge wingspan. Huge wings. I could basically fly. Yeah, we, yeah. All, we all know how each other feels. Yeah, so. it's okay. right. What's the what's your wingspan? 7'2 or something? 7'3. Seven, 7'3. Three. Seven, three. Oh, three. Don't shortchange him. Yeah. Give me I, that inch. Well, I, I, had a, <laughs> I had a friend of mine say 7'2. Um, yeah, 7'3. That's that's great. Um, you've, you've really changed things on the defensive end. When you come in, you're blocking shots, you're helping. Um, has that kind of been your initial role uh, to come in off the bench and do that, and now you want to expand from there? Yeah, I think so. Uh, coming in off the bench and just uh, playing defense, obviously being long helps a lot uh, to kind of get in guys' faces and have a have a hover hand and stuff like that. Um, but now, obviously, like you said, I just want to continue to add um, to my game. I really appreciate you blocking two shots, by the way, because we do these picks for each game, and I said Gavin Baxter will block multiple shots, and you had exactly two. <laughs> had so two. thank you. I, I, got I appreciate back. that. I got you yeah, back. thank you. You know, we talked about it a couple of times. Gonzaga coming in. You only had one game this week, so you've got a full week to get ready for Gonzaga. I've got to imagine you guys are pretty excited to be able to have that caliber of team on your floor next week. Yeah, it's it's great that we have a week break until then. We can we have time to put together a game plan and make sure we're rested and. Uh, just be more prepared because it is going to be a big game. And so 
um, having that week off is, is, is big for us. We're talking with seven foot three wingspan man <laughs> Gavin Baxter on uh, BYU Sports Nation. Um, your parents both went to BYU. Mm-hmm. Your sister ran track here at BYU. Your mom held the 200 record for 26 years here at BYU. Went to Timfew. What's it like for you to finally be at BYU? And now last night you're in a big game. You're dunking. The crowd's going crazy. National TV. What's that like? Um, it's a dream come true, honestly. I've just always wanted to, to play here. Grew up coming to the games with my dad. And so uh, to be out on the floor is, like I said, a dream come true. It's awesome. Great feeling. We talked Tuesday about on uh, the uh, Dave Rose show about how your dad never missed a shot at BYU. Yeah, one that, for one. An incredible, <laughs> an incredible streak, right? It's, it's amazing. What, what does he tell you about BYU Hoops since he was a walk-on player here for a season? Um, he's just, uh, he's always been a fan and, uh, he, um, didn't necessarily care where I went, but, um, yeah, I think he's glad that I came here and kind of carried on that legacy. And, uh, sadly I can't carry on the hundred percent, you know, from the field. Uh, does he remind you of that now? <laughs> um, I think he forgot, but now, that he, <laughs> now that he remembered, I think he'll be talking about it more. Are you physically, are you more like your mom or your dad? Cause your mom seems to be tall and kind of long. Yeah. Are you like your mom? Um, I think a nice blend of both. Like my dad's like six, five and my mom's kind of longer and athletic. So I got the mix of the two. You mentioned you had school and obviously school continues on, but you do have a little bit of time in between breaks. What do you do when you get away? How do you relax? How do you occupy your time when, it, when it's not being taken up by basketball stuff? Um, I'm into to cars and, and shoes. Uh, those Sneakerhead? I'm a sneakerhead for you, sure. You versus Dalton Nixon. Yeah, Dalton's got quite the collection. He does. Uh, honestly, he's he's... He's got me. He's a junior. Probably. Yeah, he, You're a obviously. You're so fine. he's got he's got more time. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm into shoes. I'm into nice cars. I like fast cars and stuff like that. So. So now Dalton told me, and I, I hope I'm getting the shoe right. He said that his his favorite shoe of his collection was I think he said retro Jordan 11. I believe is what he said. I hope I'm getting this right. Yeah. Would you have a favorite shoe as well? Um. Are we talking like casual or just whatever? If you're just your your favorite shoe, your most prized shoe. Um, one that I don't have that I really wish I had is the is the Kobe Six. Um, probably the greatest performance shoe of all time. But mm. as far as casual shoes go, uh, I have a pair of retro Twelves, French Blues. They're really oh, nice. Wow! Wow! Okay. What what do you wear on the court? Um, it depends. Last night I had the. The black and white, the LeBron equalities, uh, the 16s, those are nice. Um, but I, I guess it just depends on how I'm feeling. So I switch it up. Awesome. We're talking to Gavin Baxter on BYU Sports Nation. BYU fresh off of the, a win against St. Mary's. How is the next couple of days of practice since you're not getting ready for a game this weekend? Do you get a day off or is it practice in place of that? Uh, today we get a day off, but tomorrow we're back at it. So it's nice to have a day off, take a um, – let our bodies kind of recuperate and stuff like that. But tomorrow we're back at it, so we got to be dialed in for that. I'm sure this is not something that's new to you, but what do you make of all of the Anchorman references? <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when people want to reference you on social media or whatever, they always reference something to do with Anchorman. Yeah, um, I've seen Anchorman. I think it's hilarious. It's, so <laughs> it's the best. The I references, I, I don't mind them at all. I think they're pretty funny. Do you have a preference on which reference? Because there are like three or four from the movie. With Baxter, there's a dog that Will Ferrell has. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the man punted Baxter. That's pretty funny. But <laughs> I don't know how they're going to incorporate that one into to anything that happens. So we need, yeah, we need Jack Black uh, and <laughs> Will Ferrell to join the program or something. Um, do you have a nickname uh, that you want to share on the air? <laughs> no nickname. No nicknames. No nickname. Growing Just up. G Bax, maybe. G Bax. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll have to come up with one. You're yeah. gonna be here for a while, so yeah, you need to come I mean, up with you one. You guys can think about. I it. I may yeah. have had one last night. I don't know. Like uh, after one of your blocks, I tweeted out. More like Gavin Blockster, am okay. I right? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't, know, stretch, but... I, I don't know if that will catch on. <laughs> oh, man, that's a good one. What, why number 25? <laughs> uh, shoot. My friend, um, he had the number 25, and I liked it, so I said, I'm going to be number name. 25, so <laughs> it just kind of stuck. Is that a Timfew or earlier? Uh, Timfew. Timfew. Yeah. Gotcha. And it was available when you got here. Yeah, luckily. So I'm going to keep that one as long as I can. What's the best part about playing BYU basketball right now? Um, I think just uh, 
being with a group of guys that is like a good influence. Um, they're fun to be around. And uh, honestly, it's just been a blast, especially lately um, with the momentum we got. And so um, just being here in, in the environment, I love it. Who do you hang out with the most? Is there, do you have a, is there a group that kind of hangs out the most together? You and Connor because you're freshmen? I mean, how, who do you hang out with most on the team? Uh, me and Dalton hang out a lot uh, on the road. A lot, of, a lot of shoe talk, I assume. Shoes and shoes and stuff take up our our conversations, and so uh, we're into that. And so, yeah, we, we hang out a lot. Talking to Gavin Baxter here on BYU Sports Nation, will you describe uh, the dunk where he came down the lane last night? Kind of what led up to that, and then then which felt was that was that off the pass from Connor? Not the one on the baseline, but the one right one down right the down middle. The lane, oh, that one. Yeah. So sorry, uh, there are so many. It's hard to identify I know, which just one. So many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I go up to set the screen for Connor, and uh, St. Mary's likes to hedge their screens, and so I kind of left a little early, and Connor made a sweet pass through the middle. And uh, I was planning on taking a dribble until I realized I didn't need one, and so just went up and put it down. The 7-3 wingspan. You're like, it, oh, it, I'm right here. I was just like, extend the arms, and it went in, so it was great. And, and on the other dunk, there was a nice flex there. Your yeah. photo took a nice picture. That was, that was a nice picture, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new, new screensaver. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think we've had you sign this flag. Is that correct? Yeah, yes. you're way up there. Yeah, I signed right? it. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Right. I love it. Well, good luck. You're, you're playing really well. Thank uh, you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the starting lineup here soon, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, keep keep playing well, and let's go Cougs. All right, thanks. BYU Sports Nation Karma for uh, your classes until yes. next Thursday. Wow. We give you good luck. Okay, yeah. sweet. You, you play even it. better. Yeah, so you okay. get three blocks now. So it'll be great. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks, Gav. Yeah, and we've made it through the entire interview without Jerem asking for your jacket, which I'm quite impressed with. Yeah. It's a nice jacket. It is a nice jacket. No, Thank nice you. Jacket. I'm a, it's Absolutely. one of my favorites. There yeah. we go. I was going to ask him off here, but okay, whatever. <laughs> now I've just made it awkward. <laughs> Not for sale, sorry. I think it's going to be a little long for me in the arm. But yeah. yeah. Well, but with the wingspan, it's it's all equal. Similar wingspan. Right. It's very, we are, it's very we're similar. all similar wingspan. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Gav. Appreciate it. No problem.